Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. I'm Tamika Wong. I am the new executive director at Chinese Historical Society of America. I started in this position in April of this year, and I couldn't be more honored to be here and serve the community in this way. And I really want to say I'm really honored by everyone's presence here. I think what we're talking about today is very important, and I really think that this is a very historic gathering. And I'm very pleased that we have Gen Major General Bill Chen here today. Of course, Monty Hom. Thank you so much for being here for helping us to do this right. And also Connie Young Yu, who's been instrumental. Thank you very much. So in case you don't know, CHSA is the oldest historical organization dedicated to the preservation and interpretation of Chinese American history. And I think a lot of us and our families have, their stories have intersected with history. I know for my family, my grandfather was a World War II, uh, served in World War II. His father is buried at the San Mateo Cemetery, the National Cemetery there. Uh, he was a cook, and I know that from his tombstone. So I feel like a lot of us have things, you know, touch points where we can connect to history, and I think this is very important because, for one thing, unfortunately, when people think of a quote-unquote typical American or somebody who's in the Army or the Navy or whatever branch of service that they may have been in, they don't necessarily think of Asian faces. And I think one thing that we need to do is to proudly proclaim that we have served Many of us are f come from families that have served, who've you know, unfortunately paid the ultimate price. I wouldn't be here but for the fact that my grandmother came here due to the War Brides Act. So a lot of us have ways that we connect that are very important and, and really help us to contribute in a meaningful way, especially when we know our history. So we're here to explore the contributions of Chinese Americans to World War II in the United States and abroad in ways in which that look at the ways in which war has helped shape the trajectories of Chinese Americans after the war. And we want to thank our sponsors. I think I saw Ed Gore here from Chinese American Citizens Alliance. Thank you for being here, all the way from Texas. Thank you. And they're going to have a table set up. So if your family served, you may be able to register, you should be able to register for a Congressional Gold Medal. And we want to thank them for helping us do that here at today and also tomorrow. Cathay Post 384 is also here in the house. I, I know that Command, uh, Commander Helen Wong will join us. And we're going to be having our dedic rededication ceremony tomorrow. And I want to thank Connie Young Yu, who's going to be actually giving the speech that her, or retelling re the speech that her father gave many, many years ago. And we're honored for that to be happening. And I also was asked to sing the national anthem. So I'll be singing tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> And it's so just another way for us to express our patriotism and our love for this country and all that it's given to us. I want to note that this project was made possible by California Humanities. We were able to get a grant to do this project. But I would say that the grant you know, covered some expenses, but of course we have staff time and many other things. So we hope that she'll support us by joining as members, by um, becoming involved. We're looking for a lot of people, especially people who can volunteer, let's say, as docents for week time um, times and all that. Uh, I want to also th say a big thank you to Cameron House for opening their space. Yeah. I mean, this is wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> this is yet another historic space here in Chinatown, and we couldn't be happier to be here, especially because we are right uh, basically kitty corner on this alleyway from Chinese Historical Society, where we do have a current exhibit that you, of course, will be very interested in checking out. We'll have tables over there if you want to swing by and have your lunch in there with tables and all the chairs and all that nice, those nice things. Or you can stay here at lunchtime. And while I'm on the housekeeping matters, can I ask everybody to pull out your phone and make sure that it's silenced for the program? Thank you. And if you came on Park and Ride, just remember to get a stamp before you go. And that'll be at the registration. I want to say a special, give a special thing, actually, special thanks to Monty Hom for bringing your personal collection here. Thank you very much. And we'll be having um, the stories of Dorothy Eng and Tak Hewen during the coffee and lunch breaks. Uh, there is bathrooms behind the stage, so feel free to, to go when you need to. No need to ask for permission. <laughs> Elevators, unfortunately, are currently asked for out of service, so if you need help, just let us know. Uh, let's see. I already mentioned this thing. I'm sorry. Sorry, I've got a long list of housekeeping, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but, but it is important. Uh, let's see. I also want to say now, 
um, that I'm very happy that we have our speakers and I'd like to just read off their bios so that everybody can know who they are uh, as they come up to be the first panel of this event to open us up um, in the right note and make sure that we do this right. Major General Bill Chen entered the US Army as a second lieutenant in June 1961 after receiving a BSE in Engineering Mathematics in June 1960 and an MSE in Aeronautical and Astronautical Engineering in June 1961, both from the University of Michigan. In October 1989, at age 49, he was promoted to Major General, the first Chinese American to wear two, a two-star rank in the US Army. Thank you to our pioneers. He retired from the Army in, in September 1993. Monty Hom is a native of San Francisco, and he got his degree in broadcast communications from SF State. I understand you're here from Southern California, so thank you for making the, the trek here. His past and current works have centered on Chinese Americans in the military. He is currently remastering his 1999 documentary, We Served with Pride, which focuses on Chinese Americans' service during World War II. We'll look forward to seeing that. He is also working on a film that will examine the various contributions Chinese Americans have served in the military before World War II. So thank you very much. Thank you. So I do want to say that it's very important for us to remember our history and share our history. So one other thing I'd like to mention, just so we get this, um, get you thinking about this, tomorrow we're going to have a show and tell type portion at our luncheon, and we're hoping that people will bring their artifacts and will be able to share their stories because, you know, there's many, many more stories that we need to learn about. There's many pieces of this puzzle, and everybody who has a piece should share, whether it's about World War II, World War I, you know, other facets of our history. So thanks again.